everyone and welcome back to my spooky kitchen. I'm wearing my uh, skeleton dress with my spooky apron. We're having a whole, it is halfway to Halloween month. If you watched that video, then you know. So we're, I'm just doing more spooky kitchen stuff. Although it's always a spooky kitchen around here, but that's besides the point. Okay, so today or tonight, we're having another late dinner. Uh, yeah, I, with this whole quarantine thing, I don't know wh when a meal is supposed to be, <laughs> what meal we're having. I don't know if that's what's been going on in your house as well, but it's so, I, I don't know. I just, it happens when it happens basically. So uh, today I'm making sushi stacks, which I think I had mentioned in my Aldi grocery haul. I love this recipe because as long as you have rice, you can use whatever ingredients you have in your fridge or your pantry or whatever uh, you need to use and get creative with your stacks. Um, and I originally, by the way, I have to say this, I originally got this idea from Pinterest a couple years ago. And since then, I've kind of come up with my own things or I use just whatever I have in my fridge. I'm gonna be doing two different styles of sushi stacks. I'm gonna be doing one that is vegan and mainly cucumber, avocado, uh, maybe some carrots. I wish I had some jalapenos because I would totally would use that. Um, and also I'm gonna be doing a quarantine spicy tuna stack. I'm calling it quarantine spicy tuna because we're not talking about sushi grade, super fresh, amazing tuna. We're talking about some canned tuna. So we're going all in quarantine style. But if you have some shrimp or you have some fresh fish or whatever you wanna use, a mango in your stacks, go for it. So, and while I'm at it, I did mention once again in my grocery haul, that I was gonna make a cucumber salad, like a hot and sour, or sweet and spicy, whatever, uh, cucumber salad. And there were a couple of comments asking me to do that as well. So I figured why not do that now since I have some cucumbers I need to get through. Oh, by the way, I of course have a beverage. This is uh, the Crispin Hard Cider pear secco flavor, which is like a pear flavor. I was drinking this one during my book club and it's pretty good. It's not the rosé, but it's pretty good. Somebody wanted to be in on the action. She was upstairs crying. So she's going to be, this is going to be once again, a very sanitary cook with me video. Right, so first thing I'm gonna do is cook the rice. I cook rice in my Instapot, which is my favorite thing ever. So our instant pot. I don't know why I call it an Instapot. Instant pot. All right, so this is the little cup that comes with it. I'm gonna fill up two of these with rice. Means is hiding, if you can see her. Just gonna take a little nap. She has been, I don't know how your pets have been during all of this, but she has been, I don't know. I don't know if she's freaking out or what. She's been so needy. And I know chihuahuas are needy, but she's been especially needy lately. And I don't understand. I'm gonna dump this in the in instant pot. And then I'm gonna fill two of these up with water. So two cups of water per two cups of rice. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Pour this in the instant pot. Oh, whoa, whoa. And then, I'm gonna stir it up a little bit. Just give a little stir. Put the lid on. And then I'm gonna hit the rice button. Which I don't even think you can see, but I hit the rice button and then you just let it go. Now we're gonna move on to the cucumber salad. The cucumber rice vinegar. I have this one from Target. Sambal, which it's got like the chilies in it but sambal. You can find this at the international or Asian markets. That's where I find it. Uh, sugar, oh no, I didn't get any of this stuff out. All right, sugar, soy sauce. I have the gluten-free tamari here. Sesame oil, which I have right here. Sesame oil and garlic. Oh, garlic. And I like the minced garlic in the, in like a jug or jar or whatever. This one is from Target, but they pretty much sell that kind of stuff everywhere. So this recipe says to, you know, have the cucumber, put it in a strainer so it drips and does all this stuff. But girl doesn't have time for that. 15 to 20 minutes. Maybe we'll do this. We'll actually do it this way. All right. So what I'm going to do is 
Well, first, let me just cut this off. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Well, you just somehow get the plastic packaging off. I feel like this shouldn't be this hard, but I got myself into a pickle. <laughs> oh, now I'm gonna rinse off this big old cucumber. All right, so it says to slice the cucumbers really thin, and I like using a mandolin for this and putting it on the thinnest setting because I like mine really thin. This is the mandolin I have. I think I got it from, I, don't, I think I got it for my wedding. I think it was on my registry. All right, so I'm gonna take a bowl and I usually just take some sort of glass situation that's also a Tupperware that has a lid or whatever. So once I slice the cucumbers in here, I can just throw the lid on. So then I'm gonna take this big old cucumber and I'm going to hold the mandolin over the bowl and I'm just gonna go to town and just slice, is this too thin? Yeah, that might be too thin. Let's move it down one. So this is on the number two speed, number, whatever. And it slices them really thin. Oh, wait, I think I was supposed to put this in a colander. Whatever, we're not doing that. So this one says to put it in a colander and let it release the water. We might do that. But we're first just gonna deal with this big old cucumber. And slice it all up. You can also use a knife, but I like doing this because the cucumbers get real nice and thin. All right, so what are you guys up to? What's for dinner tonight? Tell me in the comments. Um, I still have produce, so we're doing okay over here, but I'm sure next week it's gonna get weird again. I'm not trying to go to the grocery store for a while because I saw on the news they were talking about how this week or the next couple weeks, if we can avoid it. Oh, that was the Instant Pot. Sorry, it started. See, it makes these noises when it's kind of getting ready. And I'll tell you what, there's a lot here. I don't think I was expecting this much cucumber, but I'm going to go with it. We're gonna take some of this cucumber and we're gonna use it on the sushi stack. And then the rest of it we're gonna use for the cucumber salad is what I just decided. I have no idea what I'm doing. So, once that's done, I'm gonna take some of this and put it in a separate little container. Put it in here. Just a little separate thing. This is gonna be for our sushi stack. And if you want, you can just put the cucumber salad with all of the flavors on a sushi stack as well. But I like just regular cucumbers too. This says to put the cucumbers in a colander. Hold on. Sprinkle lightly with salt. Place strainer on a rimmed plate. Okay, so I'm gonna put the cucumbers in the strainer or colander or whatever. I don't know if this is even what I'm, the same thing or what I'm supposed to be using, but this is all I got. I work with it. Sprinkle with salt, what do I got? Oh, my salt's over here. Put some salt on it. It's just to mix it up. There you go. And then, I'm just gonna put it on a regular plate. Oh, rinse plate, I get it. So I'm gonna put it on a plate, like so. And we're gonna let it do its thing. Oh, we need a snack. There's carrots. Like, I'm not I'm gonna carrot. I'm gonna eat one of these chocolate chip gluten-free cookies from Aldi. Mm. All right. Next we have to make the dressing. Mm. Combine all ingredients in a bowl. All right, so two tablespoons of rice vinegar. We're just gonna pour some in there. That looks good. One teaspoon of chili paste. Boom. Ta uh, tablespoon and a half of sugar. I just eyeball the half. Okay, what else? Two teaspoons of soy sauce. Boom. This one is going, since I'm following a recipe, it's so much easier. When I have to make my own recipes, it's a total disaster. One teaspoon and a half of sesame oil. Whoa. 
I love sesame oil. How much garlic? Half teaspoon. Let's get that in there. All right, and then it says whisk it together until sugar dissolves. What do I use this fork for? That's the real question. Let me taste this. Oh, that's good. A little bit more vinegar. That's spicy. Okay, let's put a little bit more vinegar in there. I love vinegar. Too much, probably. Ooh, that's spicy. Mmm. Mmm. Oh man, what if I want another cookie? Having dessert before, for the appetizer. This is quarantine. Mm. Next, I'm gonna start with, ooh, let's take a sip. What should we do? Let's do the vegan one. All right, I'm gonna start with the veggie stack is what I'm gonna start with. And, oh, I need that rice vinegar still. All right, I feel like this cook with me video is way less chatty than the last one. <laughs> because I'm literally starving to death. Look at my skeleton arms. Things are getting weird. Okay, all right, so what I like to do, I kind of talked a little bit about this with my enchiladas. I love to do everything, and maybe that's just how I was raised and how my mom did it, but everything is buffet style. So I'm doing this buffet style, and I feel like this recipe could be really fun um, if you have kids or if you and your partner want to do this. Um, where you can just get a bunch of veggies and whatever you have, if you want to put fish or, or even if you want to do mango, like I mentioned earlier, uh, and then just have it all out and then you can make your own little stacks and play around with different ingredients. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm going to do, so the original, I wasn't ready for you to be done. I'm going to just like turn that off and leave it there for a second. So I also like to do carrot. I think that's weird maybe a little bit because carrot isn't normally in sushi. But I think I, the first time I did a sushi stack, on the recipe I was looking at, it had carrot, like shredded carrot, and it was actually really good. So I don't have an actual large carrot to shred, so I'm gonna try to shred these little baby carrots, and I thought maybe for some comedic relief, we would do that. I'm gonna take another little Tupperware dish. This one's the real small one. We don't need much. So I'm gonna take a carrot, a baby carrot, preferably a large carrot, but we're gonna try to shred our knuckles, apparently, is what I'm going for. I'm gonna put it on a, what is this, a grater? Cheese grater. But I'm going to grate carrots instead. And we don't need a lot of carrots. Oh, that's already not going well. <sighs> I feel like I'm getting close. And I already can tell that needs wants one. Do you want a carrot? Do you want a bit of a carrot? Needs a carrot? Carrot? Oh, good girl. She loves carrots. And then whatever nub is left, I just eat. Because I'm not trying to grate up my knuckles into this. No. That's what we're trying not to do. Okay, so these things always remind me of cheese graters. I'll do one more. Always remind me of my brother. And I were really big into wrestling growing up. And I think it was like middle school and high school, there was this wrestling thing called ECW. If you know, you know. It was like hardcore wrestling. Extreme Championship Wrestling. And they would like jump off ladders and light each other on fire and take cheese graters and rub them on their forehead and stuff. It was a time to be alive, I'll tell you that much. So we go to these wrestling matches and we make these signs and try to like get our signs on TV and we thought we were just like awesome. Just thought I'd throw that out there. <laughs> People nowadays eat Tide Pods. Back then, we were rubbing cheese graters on our foreheads. I didn't do that, but we watched it for entertainment. Okay, so next, I'm gonna cut up, I'm gonna do the avocado last, because I like that fresher than fresh. I'm gonna set the carrot aside. <coughs> set the carrot aside. Choking on a carrot. All right, so next, we're gonna make the spicy tuna. I'm gonna use two packets. Um, it's also gonna depend on how many people you have, but I think one packet will do two stacks. And usually, by the way, for dinner, I'll eat two stacks, and then for lunch, I'll usually just have one. And by the way, this recipe, which I meant to say in the beginning, is perfect for spring and summer because it is really refreshing, lots of fresh veggies, and it's not too hot. It's not like a casserole or a soup where I just feel hot. 
You know what I mean? So it's really great for that and it's super quick as well for a summer meal or whatever. So I'm gonna take my chunk light tuna in water, AKA sushi grade tuna raw. <laughs> and I'm going to put, and this is for the non-vegan version obviously. I'm gonna put this, and by the way, I don't know what I consider myself right now, but I think it, I'm a pescatarian that does not eat dairy at the moment is where I'm at with this. Okay, I need to open this. So. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in a bowl. You all right up there? You all right? I don't, that's, I heard noises up there. I was a little concerned. Maybe he was starving. So next I'm gonna make some spicy mayo to put in and mix in with the tuna. So I'm gonna take some mayo. This is the Hellman's vegan mayo. And take a, probably like a big honkin' tablespoon. Like, and I know this isn't gonna be vegan because of the fish, but I'm still using the vegan mayo. Use whatever mayo you wanna use. A big whopping tablespoon of mayo. And mayo will do. And then I use sriracha to taste. So I'm not measuring it out. If I had to measure it, I would probably say a teaspoon-ish, maybe a little bit more than that. So just add it slowly until you get the spice you like. Also with the mayo, my tip on that is to slowly add the mayo one tablespoon at a time. If you like it more mayo-y, then add more mayo. If you like it a little bit drier, like you like your tuna drier, then add, I would say only one tablespoon. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more and then just go a little bit at a time until you get the right consistency and the right taste. You can also add salt and pepper. I don't feel like it needs it with the sriracha because sriracha is a little bit salty, garlicky, hot. It needs more sriracha, So is what I'm talking about. And with this one, I feel like the spicy tuna could be a little bit spicier even because you're gonna have rice with it and cucumber. So that's gonna cool it down a little bit. Okay, we're almost done. This is super fast. I guess I just didn't even, the ingredients, I didn't even go over with you. But you'll, it'll all be in the description. <laughs> I got a little bit sidetracked by food. I'm so hungry. Okay. So also what I'm gonna do while I'm here with the mayo is I'm gonna make a separate little container of spicy mayo because I'm also gonna put some spicy mayo on the veggie sushi stack. And also if you wanna top your Sushi stack with some spicy mayo. You can have some on the side. What I'm doing is I'm just using the rest of the mayo in here because we're down to the bottom. And I don't really feel like opening a new one yet. We'll see what we get tonight. But so get your mayo in your container. And then I just go crazy with the sriracha and just start putting it in there. I'm not measuring anything. Not at all. Not the mayo, not the sriracha. I just stir it around and then continuously taste it until I get the amount of spice that I want. Kind of like we did earlier with the tuna. So I'm just doing this. I like quite a bit in there. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> Wee -hoo, hoo So then I'm gonna put a lid on that. Put it away for a little while and there's our spicy mayo. And if it's too spicy, you can add more mayo. If it's not spicy enough, add more sriracha. That's my tip on that. Let's check on our, I can get rid of this. Let's check on our cucumbers. I don't know how long it's been. I didn't even look at the time. It's 9.43. Mm. That's a late dinner, all right. Um, I don't know what, they, what they're supposed to look like. So I put the cucumbers in this container and I think I'm just supposed to pour the, well, what does it say? Transfer cucumber to platter, drizzle dressing on top. All right. So I'm gonna drizzle this over the top. And it says serve immediately. I'm gonna let it soak up a little bit. This looks delicious. So it tastes. Mmm. Not good. That's everything I've been wanting right now, just like really fresh tasting salad. Mm. I will link this recipe in the description. Mm. One more bite. All good. I just swallowed an entire cucumber. All right. So I set this aside. 
All right, so now I'm gonna cut up my avocado and I'm gonna put it in, once again, a little Tupperware. So that way when I'm assembling my sushi stack, it's super easy. So, right, so I'm gonna cut my avocado in half. And then what I like to do is I take a, just like a steak knife. I don't like to use anything too sharp because I heard some horror stories about people cutting their avocados and cutting through it and cutting their hand and having to go to the ER. I'm not trying to do that right now. So I just gently with a steak knife, nothing that could cut me too bad, uh, go through and cut vertical and then cut across the other way. And then I take my spoon and I scoop it out and just dump it right into the bowl. Let's start with one avocado, but if you do have to save half of your avocado, save the half, you may already know this, with the pit because it won't turn brown. Uh, if, like, and same with guacamole, if you make some guacamole and you throw a couple pits in there, or one pit, depending on how much guacamole it is, the guacamole will stay green. That's a little tip my, my mom told me. Mom the Virgo told me. So next, we're gonna get we're gonna get the rice out. Okay, okay, okay. Hopefully this isn't all stuck to the bottom right now. Ooh, no, it's perfect. I'm going to stir this up. And then what I like to do, because at sushi restaurants apparently, they put rice vinegar in their rice to give that little bit of tang. So I'm gonna do that. Take my rice vinegar. And I'm going to just Put some in there, I don't know how much. It didn't say, but that looks like enough. And then I'm gonna mix it up. And then I'll probably taste it to be sure. All right, so I'm gonna put the rice in this container because there's probably gonna be more left over. So that way I can have my little assembly line going. Plus I want it to cool down a little bit. All right, so now I'm gonna set out all of my, my stuff. Spicy mayo, your cucumbers, carrots, uh, I like sesame seeds, avocado, uh, whatever you're doing. Just set out all of your ingredients, your spicy tuna, and also anything you want on top. So soy sauce, sriracha. I also like these little kelp granules, which are seaweed granules. If you are vegan and you want that kind of seafood seaweed taste, um, or just the sushi taste. This is really good to sprinkle on. And of course, our cucumber salad, which is so bomb. I'm just gonna have a little. All right, so what I'm gonna do is get a plate. I'm just gonna take a little small plate. All right, so we're gonna start with a veggie stack. And what you're gonna need is a cup, like a, a dry measuring cup. I like ones that have the tapered look to it, but you can also use a regular just all one size measuring cup, it all works the same. All right, so you're gonna take your dry measuring cup and in the measuring cup, you're gonna start with whatever it is that you like. So at the bottom of the measuring cup, I like doing sesame seeds. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put some sesame seeds, just a little bit. Then I'm gonna do some, am I gonna do carrot? I'll do a little bit of carrot or whatever veggies. And this is just where you let your imagination run wild and you start sprinkling in whatever you want to. So then I sprinkle in some cucumbers and you wanna keep in mind that there's gonna be some rice in there. So you just wanna make sure you're leaving enough room for rice, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna put some cucumbers in there and then I'm gonna put my avocados in there. Oh, there's a lot of avocado, I'm not using all that. That's good, it's all good. So this is what it looks like so far. And I might put a little bit now that I'm thinking of it. I'm gonna put a little bit of, I love cucumbers. I'm gonna put a little cucumber salad in there just for a little flavor, just a little baby layer like that. I'm gonna take some spicy mayo. Is that what I want? Yeah, spicy mayo. Put that in there, put as much as you want. I'll put a little more. Okay. Then I'm gonna do some seaweed granules. So then I'm gonna do my rice. I scoop the rice, and this is the last layer no matter what you're doing. Uh, scoop the rice in here. You can use brown rice, I'm just using jasmine rice. 
and you kind of want to press it down because you want it to be a really structured stack. I almost said a structured sack that you don't want. And then what I do is just to make sure it doesn't stick to the sides, I just take a knife. You can also use a toothpick or whatever, but I just take a knife and just kind of like loosen it up a little bit, get it ready to come out a little bit. And then I press it, I'll press it down a little bit more. Just press it down. So you wanna make sure it's nice and packed down. Then, and this might not be a perfect stack, that's okay. I take my plate and I take my cup and then I flip the cup over and release. <sighs> that looks so good. Let me show you up close what this looks like without the blaring light. Let's just take a look at that. Oh yeah. Look at us. You got sesame seeds, carrot, cucumbers, some avocado in there, and you got some rice and that uh, sriracha mayo. Look at that. All right, whoa. Pour some soy sauce over the top. Maybe that's a lot, I don't know. And let's do some sriracha. Two. Okay, now we're gonna try this, baby. Gotta get some cucumber, avocado. All right, here we go, this is a big bite. when I actually eat dinner, okay. No shame in my game, let's cleanse the palate. So next we're gonna do the spicy tuna. So it's gonna be a very similar construction process to the last stack that we just did. Sesame seeds at the bottom, or at the top technically. And a little there. I'm gonna do avocado next. Then I'm gonna do some cucumber. A layer of cucumber my spicy tuna. I'm gonna put some seaweed in there. Then I'm gonna do rice. Good old layer of rice. And then press it down, that's the important part. Wait, a little bit over here. We got some spicy tuna showing. Then I'm gonna take my knife and loosen it a little bit. Especially with the spicy tuna, sometimes it wants to stick to the sides. That's all right, we're gonna press it down. Then, this one might not be as fancy, I'm a little nervous. Uh, you're gonna take your plate, and then you're gonna flip it over. Oh no, that still looks really nice and pretty. A very nice, fancy looking stack. Let's see if we can't get a better Look at that. I could have added some more cucumber in this one. I think I could have. There's a lot of tuna on there, but that's gonna be whatever you prefer. This one, it needs more cucumber for sure. Let's just put a layer of cucumber salad over the top. There we go. And let's do some seaweed sprinkles. Let's do some sesame seeds. Soy sauce. Oh God, this is good. And of course, make it spicy. I mean, I'm really impressed with myself on this one. Here we go, gotta get a little bit of everything. I don't have any avocado. Let's get some of that. Let's take a bite. Awesome. I think this is my favorite way to use canned tuna. So if you have any canned tuna or if you've been looking for a meal that you can have during like quarantine meals or whatever, and you're getting some canned tuna or whatever, this is the best way I think. It's because I know you can make a good old tuna sandwich, but this is just a nice little twist. And it's really good and it's got that spice and it's got the moisture from the mayo. It is just, it's good. Mmm. Mmm. Dinner is ready. So there's only one more thing left to do, which is to, to yell dinner on the top of your lungs. That's how I do it at my house. Dinner! That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed cooking in my spooky kitchen again with me. Um, if you did, you can give it a thumbs up, say hey, cool, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.